Hey guys, Hexer Tech here for another video tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be going over an alternative way to get torrented files onto your iPad. I had done a previous tutorial showing you how to use the website Terrific. However, they have taken their website down so it's no longer a usable website. And I'm going to be showing you guys an alternative to that site. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Opera browser here. Uh, for my tutorial today, I'm going to be using Opera, which you can find at opera.com. Uh, there's two methods, however, so if you don't want to use Opera, you can use my second method. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, this is not going to apply to this tutorial really, but this is a future website, uh, a program that's coming out soon. It's called NowStream, and you can feel f free to check it out. It's in beta phase testing. Uh, so you actually have to put your email in just to get a demo of the service. I've put my email in probably about a month ago and I still haven't had the opportunity to test it. Uh, but they do have a video showing you how it works. It's very similar to Terrific, but I think it's actually probably better. It streams torrents to you, so if there was a torrented video file, it would in real time stream that file to you over the internet. And you can also do that onto your iPad or iPhone and have it download as well. So it's a really great service, but they haven't really released it yet. So today what I'm going to show you is how to actually get files onto your iPad at the, at the time being. So you can see here I'm using Opera. At the bottom left-hand corner, there's a section that says Panels. And if you click that, there's also a little uh, fan-like figure which says Unite. So Opera has a specific feature in their actual browser that allows you to file share uh, documents, videos, and all that kind of stuff. So if you double click on file sharing, it's going to bring up your, pro you have to create an account, but you create a profile, and then you can select a folder to browse files from. So if you click on this wrench icon, once you've set up the Opera Unite function, you can choose a folder from your desktop or your documents or wherever that you want to stream files from and stream download files from. So if I select my desktop here and click OK, it's going to populate a list of files on my desktop that I can actually download from any browser and on any device. So you can see here I've got a uh, test document .avi, so this would be a test file for videos that I'm going to show you how to download onto your iPad. This could be anything from a movie to a show to a home video, whatever you want it to be. Um, and I'm going to show you how to download that onto the iPad using the Opera Unite function. The other method that you can use to get files onto your iPad easily is by uploading it to a variety of different sites. I'm going to be showing you one of many. Another great one that I won't mention is um, Pipe Bytes, but I don't think that works on the iPad. And then there's also uh, a few other ones, I think... Um, uh, Zshare is one option. There's a lot of them, but I'm going to be showing you Minus.com today. So if you go to Minus.com, that's M-I-N-U-S.com, I did a tutorial of this website previously just showing you how to uh, use the site. But it's basically a site that gives you, uh, to start with, 10 gigabytes of free space to put any file that you want onto the site. Uh, over time, if you invite friends, you can get up to 50 gigabytes of space. Uh, I happen to get 50 gigabytes through lots of invites, so... Um, so that makes it a little bit easier to get files on here. So what I have here is a little folder called Shows, and if I click on that, uh, I've got a couple shows that I've downloaded, and all I have to do is click this download link to download it straight to my device. I'm also going to be showing you how, how to get the files off of this site onto your iPad as well. So let me go ahead and switch over to my iPad so you can see how it would work from your device. Alright, so I'm on my iPad here, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can uh, get your files from Minus.com and Opera on your iPad. So let me go ahead and go over to my uh, my program that I'm going to be using. Now I've done a, a previous video that showed you how to use, I think it was a Zool Media Player and iDownloader Pro. You can use whatever you want. Currently I'm using um, iCab Mobile, which is this application here. And um, again, it doesn't matter what you use as long as it has a download feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click into my URL uh, bar and type in um, home.haxertech.operaunite.com Now basically all you need is uh, everything but the Haxertech. So if your name was Bob, it would be home.bob.operaunite.com uh, It's basically your profile name with the rest around it. So you type that into your browser and then you click enter. And then it's going to bring you to this site. So I'm going to click on visit. And that's going to take me to this site here. 
Uh, and so this is all of your files that is on your um, your actual desktop computer or your laptop or whatever it is and you need your computer on to be able to do this but as long as you have your computer uh, available and on then I can just click on my file that I want to download click on the download button and then uh, over here since I'm using iCab it's going to automatically ask me if I want to download it. I click OK and then I can go up to my uh, download button here and scroll down and then you can see here well it's obviously zero kilobytes so uh, it's going to download instantly but this is where the file is going to download and it's going to download straight to your device I can then click on it open in an external app and then I can select whatever media player I want to use to open the file I usually use Azul media player because it's uh, the most reliable and it supports the most uh, formats so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my uh, URL bar here and the next thing I want to type in is uh, minus.com I'm going to click enter and then I'm going to go ahead and go to shows here and it's going to load that page and you can see just like on my desktop same thing you see the same kind of uh, image of your uh, video that you want to download and all you do is click on download from your uh, iPad browser click OK and if I go back up to my downloads part and I scroll down you can see here that in my iCab mobile uh, the video file is downloading just like uh, if I was using the Opera Unite so both of these features work it doesn't really matter what you use you can use any of those programs to get files on there essentially you just need to take the torrent that you've gotten the torrented file from your desktop or laptop or whatever it might be uh, download it to a site or upload it to a site rather and download it from your browser uh, I would strongly recommend looking at iCab mobile if you don't already have a program that can download files onto your iPad because it's really great I'll be doing an in-depth tutorial of iCab mobile in the future but until then um, that is basically all there is for this tutorial and I will see you guys in my next one thanks for watching